what I'm going to cover is the basic structure, the punching structure in Sanchen. There's a few key points on this. The first thing is withdrawing the arm is a full retraction of the scapula. So basically, I'm going to use my, I'm going to start with my right. So if I'm here, my hand's supinated, I've got my depression going on and everything else. When I go to retract, I have protraction going on now. So my shoulder is forward. What I want to do is retraction. And to do that, I want to lead with the elbow. Meaning, I want to just pull straight from the elbow, come straight in from where the, the position was, the Sancho Nokume was. So if I face, if I face the camera, I want to go right from here, straight to my ribs, as I'm pulling it. Something I want to make sure too is my shoulder stays, my shoulder stays as down as it can. So that's also somewhat of a mobility issue, but I want to try to maintain depression as much as I can. I don't want to raise, I want to make sure it stays, uh, my shoulders stay down whenever I'm coming back into the, in, into my chamber. It just goes from point of origin, which is here, my hand supinated, and it stays along my ribs. So I pull at the elbow, and once it comes in contact with my ribs, I stay along my ribs the whole time I'm pulling it back. And I want to make sure that I am retracting that shoulder blade. It goes straight back, and it's here. Some people, whenever they pull back, they will, they'll pull back, and watch what my elbow does. It'll wing out a little bit. It'll do this. And if I lean forward, you see a hole. There should be no hole right there. That means I don't have any, I don't have tight structure at all. I want to make sure this stays in the whole time as much as I can. Now, people who are really, really small, almost no, no matter how tight they are, you're going to see a hole, but you won't see that hole from the front necessarily. If you see it from the front, it's, it's not good. So if I pull my shirt tight, I don't want to see this. Okay. I want to make sure that my elbow still is abduct, or excuse me, adducted inward. I need that adduction. Remember, adduction is the elbow going towards the midline. So I want to make sure I squeeze that and pull my scapula back whenever I'm doing that. Uh, you want to make sure to keep depression during retraction and protraction. So I brought the elbow back and I've retracted. Now, here's the thing. Whenever you go to protract, I'm going to come out, coming straight. Now, this is where hand position can uh, be a few different ways, depending on style, depending on preference. I like to come out, and right when my elbow starts to come to the edge of my ribs or my abdominals, I like it to be vertical about not a little bit further than halfway, and then it will roll over. Now the ending, so whenever I come out from here, be here, and then here. Now some people end this way. There are some styles that rotate further with their fish. There's nothing wrong with that. That's a personal preference thing. I personally like to stop here. Sometimes I will actually do that. By rotating at the end, it will protract me a little bit further. There is a punch um, that I train that twists like this. I call it a torque punch. There may be a Okanagan for, uh, term or Japanese term for that. I do not know it. But you make sure also when the punch is coming out, some people punch in to the, uh, so we get through the solar plexus. But I want to make sure most systems do this. It goes straight out from where it's at. Here. So if I had both fists out, it will go straight from here, here. It's straight from where it started. So right from my chamber, straight out. Some people aim for the center. That's not necessarily wrong. That might that may be a stylistic preference or a personal preference. But I was taught for it to go straight from the chamber, straight out. So that's the basics, the basic idea of the structure. Now keep in mind this series that I'm doing on Sanchen, I'm not talking about the breathing, I'm not talking about the synchronization of the breath and the dynamic tension. We're going to get into that in some later videos on Sanchen. 
But these are the key things on the punching structure. You want to make sure that when you withdraw the arm, you want to fully retract the scapula. Retract is here. So I'm trying to squeeze my shoulder blades back whenever I'm back. Okay? You want to lead with the elbow whenever you're pulling. Some people will pull here and then come in. I don't want any bicep flexion. It's already pretty tight at the end. When I go to relax and come back, or maintain tension, it depends on which one you do. There's a bunch of different ways to do um, sancho. But whenever I come back, lead with the elbow and get that hiki take. And then you want to make sure to maintain depression during retraction and protraction. So during withdrawing and doing the punch. And your hand position can vary. Some people, right as they start to go, they will rotate pretty quickly. And then by the end, they have that over rotation or they'll just turn it and then press, or they'll wait all the way up here and then do a final turn. That's fine as well. Sanchin is one of those katas that adds so much to anyone's other forms as well because it teaches so much about structure. It teaches so many principles and it, teach better, it teaches better kinesthetic awareness or kinesthetic perception throughout the body and different things like that that applies to all of your, all of your martial arts. But we're going to get into some very particular things that this kata does in some later videos. But for now, that's the basics of punching structure in Sancho. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe for new videos every week.